The RSI Zeus Mark II series of ships has been available to Concept Pledge over the last few days, and today I'll be showing all three. There are three different variants at the moment, and they are based off the original design of the Zeus Mark I. This was built and tested in the year 2130, and was available to the public as a transport and moving around ship, basically. As you can see on the screen now, the design of it is not anything compared to what we have nowadays and that's kind of the issue it had major issues with hull integrity and that's why they stopped using it so they now designed the zeus mark ii which has been brought up to modern standards whilst keeping the general original design of the first the three that we can buy are the zeus essential this is basically the long range exploration version made to go out for a long time and explore the universe the Zeus Mark, L or MR, this is the bounty hunter version which is made to disable, capture and bring home targets, but you know how that go. <laughs> and the final is the Zeus Clipper, or CL. This is a cargo version and it's made to move goods about the universe. The ES, or Essential, is the one that back to the most original design with a white and black paint job. The landing gears and underside turret, as well as the entrance ladder, retract perfectly to leave a smooth underbelly like on the original design of a Zeus Mark I. This is what the inside of it looks like, and they have really packed a lot into a relatively thin and small space. This is relatively speaking, though. It has a comfortable recreational habitational area and a rear room which holds 32 SCU of cargo capacity, as well as fitting a cyclone, they say. So not too bad for an exploration ship, and it feels like the one you should get if you like to dabble in a bit of everything in the verse. It comes with a recommendation of free crew, and the components it has are are four size two shield gens, two size two power plants, two size two coolers, and two size four pilot controlled weapons, as well as it has a size three remote turret on the bottom, which another player could control. The Zeus Mark, or MR, is designed to be a sleek, aggressive bounty hunter ship. Its black paint allows it to help hide in the shadows whilst hunting down your targets. It comes with an EMP charge and a quantum dampener to allow you to catch and disable ships. It has an added second forward facing remote turret on top for more firepower, but it only comes with three size 2 shield generators instead of the four the ES comes with. It's a bit iffy when it comes to making sense giving it less shield generators, but I'll allow it, as I guess they have some reason for it. Now this is what the interior looks like, and it has a massive armory, taking one of the habitation rooms, which makes it worse for habitation, but it does add the second bed into the same room, so you still do get two beds. But instead of that, you do get a massive armory. It has a dedicated area for bounty hunter pods, allowing you to stack up people basically. This is what's seen on the Cutty Blue, I think it is already. Now, this variant does come with less SCU cargo space, that being only 16 SCU, but again, if you're doing bounties, you really won't need much SCU anyway, as I doubt you'll be going for that role. It's just nice to have a little bit, which you do have. You can still store a ground vehicle in here though, so that's always a bonus. The Zeus Clipper has taken the more industrial aesthetic because of its role. It has a more technical detail and armour plating on the exterior, and it also comes with a remote size 3 tractor beam on the rear of the side of a ramp, allowing for loading and offloading of cargo to be eased a little. They have also added the thrust capability to the base of the wings, meaning veto assistance basically, this is what I think at least. On the interior, there is a massively bigger sized rear compared to the others, Habitation areas also massively pushed, meaning worse sleeping conditions, but this is the same as a bounty one. This does mean you get more cargo though, and cargo is money. It is four times the cargo capacity of the ES, coming in at 128 SCU, which is not bad at all for a ship of this size. It also comes with three size 2 shield gens, just like the MR. Now personally, I really like the overall design of this ship, and it feels like it fits with the RSI feel, for example the Galaxy, it really goes with that ship and it looks very similar. The prices of this ship is as seen on screen now, and as you can see, the War Bond edition for this ship is cheaper, but that's always the case when it comes to that, as you have to put new money into the game, which means you can't use store credits.
Now even for the store credits price, you're buying it at concept stage, so it'll be a lot cheaper than it is going to be in the future. Now you can buy it in a pack of three, which does save you a bit of money actually, I think it's something like £30 for the concept ship on its own at least. I would recommend doing this if you are going to buy all three. Now I'm done with talking about the ships, but enjoy the video in the background while I talk a little bit. I think the best one to buy at the moment is the ES, or Essential Variant, just because it carries every challenge the game has to offer within its reach and doability. And now with the hangars having ground vehicle storage in them in the up and coming future, which was actually shown in CitizenCon just a couple days ago, we can see how being able to carry a ground vehicle is going to be even easier, which is why this ship, or any ship, is going to be a great pick for those kind of people who enjoy to have a ground vehicle with them. I enjoy this myself. Also, feel free to say which one you've picked up if you picked up any, and why you chose to do so, as I love to see everyone's comments. And also, if I got anything wrong, feel free to say about it. I honestly quite liked researching this ship, and I've really enjoyed making a video about it, so it'd be great if you could subscribe and like, but no biggie if you don't want to, and I hope you enjoyed watching this, but that's me, Duffer out.